What up, guys? I'm Paul Jets. How you guys doing? It's good to be back. Um, haven't just haven't made video in a, in a while. Haven't been doing a whole lot in cards lately. Um, just you know, it wasn't my top priority at the moment. But I got a couple packages in, so I figured I'd uh, just show you guys some of my mail days. Lots of different stuff from different sports. So uh, let me just get to it real quick. Uh, first off, I got this uh, card for it's just trade bait. Uh, this Steve Nash jersey from uh, Fleer Platinum. So that's for trade if and you guys are interested it's not numbered now I got this package from eBay it's the first of a couple from eBay and this one's a <laughs> thumbs down thumbs down eBay seller uh, I got my cards but I opened up the uh, bubble mailer right and um, as soon as I opened up this huge wave this just stench of cigar smoke and cigarette smoke just comes out right in my face like right as I opened the bubble mailer it was just disgusting um, I, I nearly threw up it was it was just gross like you know I mean I mean, I don't mind the smell of cigars, but like cigarettes and cigarette smoke and all that, that's just gross to me. My parents both smoke and I've, you know, I don't. So it's like, it's just this repulsive smell to me. And it's just like, and the cards smelled like smoke and the, the, the uh, plastic uh, holders, you know, they were like yellow. It was, it's gross. Anyway, the guy got a nice little comment from me. Anyway, but I, I did get a good deal on this lot. So it was, uh, I pick up three jersey cards of three, um, two Hall of Famers and one who would have been a Hall of Famer. Anyway. For about seven dollars delivered. These are all from 2001 Upper Deck. It's a Cooperstown Calling Paul Molitor jersey, a Upper Deck exclusive Sammy Sosa jersey with uh, two pinstripes. That would have he would have been a Hall of Famer, you know, had the steroid thing not come out. And then a, oh excuse me, a Cooperstown Calling um, Tony Gwynn jersey dual uh, with two pinstripes. That's actually my first uh, Tony Gwynn jersey I've ever had, so it's pretty cool. Those three all are for trade or for sale. If you guys are interested. Next package is a nice, real nice PC package for my Kevin Jones PC. This uh, seller had three different Kevin Jones patch cards up for sale, and I bought all of them, you know, with combined shipping and everything. So, for about nine, for nine dollars delivered exactly, I got these three patch cards. Let me show you. The first one is a 06 Gridiron Gear um, three-colored uh, patch jersey number patch, numbered 19 out of 35. Then the next one is from 07 Absolute Maria, Tools of the Trade. Tools of the Trade, this is a four color patch, black, white, silver, and then blue. That's numbered 15 out of 50. And then this one is from 06 Leaf Limited, a nice three color patch, silver, white, and then black. And that's numbered 19 out of 30. So I got three low numbered patch cards that I didn't have. For my PC for about nine bucks, so I was happy with that. Next package and the last package I got is from um, just a trade I made. Um, this guy basically he I had a rookie card he wanted, um, just a low end rookie card of Chris Quinn that was from SPX that was numbered to like eleven hundred something or uh, it was numbered to a lot. Anyway, he offered me a, a sick Wilson Chandler auto for it. And I was like, sure, I'll take it. Yeah, good deal. Anyway, for my next PC. So anyway, he threw this in for free too. On top of it, this um, Topps Hardwood Daniel Gallinari rookie card, which is cool because I don't number to have 2009. I don't have many uh, Gallinari stuff. And this is what he sent me. This is a really sick card. Let me take it out. This is what he sent me for just a base rookie card of Chris Quinn, the backup point guard for the uh, for the Heat. He's actually a Notre Dame collector, which is why he uh, he made the trade. But still, it's a really good deal for me. So I'm going to send him some extras in our package. But anyway, it's a 07 Bowman Chrome Black Refractor Auto of Wilson Chandler numbered 14 out of 99. He sent that to me in a trade for a, just a regular, you know, numbered, high numbered rookie card of Chris Quinn. So I think that's a sick deal on my part. It's an awesome looking card. A Bowman Chrome Black Refractor Rookie Auto. It's, it's absolutely a sick card. I know eight to low collects them, so I mean I, I may be willing to part with it if you know you really need it. So just let me know, bro. Um, so that's about it. It's a pretty uh, pretty sick mail day. Um, also, real quickly, I was just thinking I was just thinking um, a little bit about it the other day. I think um, with all the things going on in YouTube, all the stuff, um, with all the whining and the crazy, you know, little brand vids and all that stuff that's going on, all the problems people are having. I think I think I think it shows how big this community has gotten that there's so many different personalities out there and I think the fact that how big this community has gotten it's almost become its own little thing. It's like literally become like an entity. It's 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 like 
it's become bigger than anybody thought it would when there was, you know, I mean, when I started, there was maybe 30, 40, fit, maybe 30, 40 people making videos about cards, honestly, God. Now it's literally a community. It's a legit community. So I just think, I just think maybe we need some kind of logo or something, maybe like a logo or like, honest to God, like throw up a gang sign or something. We need like a YouTube card gang sign. Like, look at this, like, YC, YouTube card collecting community, something like that. Here, I can't do it because my camera's too low. But you got what I'm saying. Throw up the uh, bunny ears. Here, I'll give you a shadow of it. Uh, throw up the bunny ears and then bring a C over it. YouTube card collecting community. If you guys got anything better, if you guys could, and you guys are artists out there, can draw up like a YouTube card collecting community logo or something, or you guys got a sick like gang hand sign or something, I think, uh, you know, we should try to get something going where everybody, you know, that way we can really tell who the real people are that are in this community. That way, you know, find a way you have this logo before every one of your videos.